Hello everyone. My name is Alex and in this video, I will show you how to edit your ATS friendly resume in pages. This is the list of steps that we will cover in this guide. Go to the file resume edit me and choose the file to edit. Open it by right mouse click and selecting open with pages from the list. That's our example. I have prepared list of very basic shortcuts for pages. You can stop the video and write them down, or you can also download it down in the box description in case you want to print it. Well with that said we can jump straight to editing your resume. Click and drag over the text that you want to highlight. If you want to remove this part you can press backspace or delete key on your keyboard. The style of removed text will remain. Put your info here. If you want to change font in your document, select the part of text you want to apply new font to. And choose the new font here. Since it's ATS Resume you shouldn't choose anything fancy. Best will be to stick to some standard font, you can see the list on the left side of your screen. Let's say you have your old resume, and you want to copy professional profile from there. We should first copy the existing style to use it later. Select the text in correct style, go to format and click copy style. Next you should remove existing professional profile paragraph. Then let's go to the document we want to copy text from. Select what we want to copy and press command plus C. Then we need to go back to our template and paste the text by pressing command plus V. Now the last step. We need to apply the old style of this paragraph. Select the whole text. Go to format paste style. It looks good now. We can go back by pressing command Z. And do the same using shortcuts. Select text with right formatting. Press option command C to copy style. Delete text and paste new from another document. Then select the text with wrong style. And press option command V to apply new style on it. Great, we can jump to the next step. Best format to send your ATS resume is PDF. Word documents get formatted differently depending on the Word version a company is running. So it can be a problem once your resume will pass ATS and go to recruiters. However, some old ATS still cannot read PDFs correctly. If that will be the case, you will probably need to send your resume as Microsoft Word document docs. To save your resume as docs go to File, Export to and then choose Word from the list. Click Next. Give your resume a name. You can change the location here. And click Export. Great, it's done. If you will need to apply with Word document it will probably be written in the job description. Now I will show you how to save your resume as PDF. Again go to File, Export to and select PDF from the list. Click Next. Name your resume. For example name, surname, resume. Change the location if necessary and press export. This is our resume saved as PDF. I think it looks nice. Before you will apply you can check if layout is fine and you have matching keywords. For this purpose I would recommend to use JobScan. You can have two weeks free trial and cancel it anytime before it ends. So check it out if you are interested. I will put the link below. Once you are on jobscan.co and already have your account go to dashboard. And click scan. 
upload your resume. Then paste job description next to it. I have already done it, so we'll now just need to click scan. My resume is only for demonstrating purpose, so I won't get any points for keywords. And there we go. All things that are wrong or missing will be listed here. You should aim to have 80 plus score and then start applying. As you can see the formatting is perfect. The only red point is about paragraph length. So keep your resume short and clear and it should be fine. You may be asked to send for example your resume and cover letter. If that will be the case you will need to merge PDFs into one PDF. To do so go to pdfjoiner.com. Click Upload Files. Now select Files for Merging. I will link PDF Joiner down in the description box. Put files in the correct order. That's the order they will be merged. Click Join Files and allow your computer to download things from this website. Once your merged PDF will be ready it should automatically save in downloads file. Ok, we just went through last step. I really hope it was super easy, and you enjoyed the whole process. In case you have any questions send me the message, and we will try to fix it as quick as possible. Thank you, bye bye.